it's not just white. Yes, right. What's up? All right. Before we get started with this video, <laughs> give it a thumbs, thumbs, thumbs up. We have a couple, a couple of dope gaming news items for this video. The first one, pretty big. You thought we were just going to get one color of the PlayStation 5? Wait till I show you this. But to build up to the hype and the momentum, bro. At the PlayStation 5 event in June, they we weren't sure if we were going to get an actual hardware reveal. They were teasing us all throughout the presentation. Speaking of the presentation, I've said this before, one of the best video game presentations. The games were lit, bro. Spider-Man Miles Morales, Gran Turismo 7, uh, Kena, that Kena Bridge of Spirits game looks dope, looked like Zelda mixed with Pikmin. Ratchet and Clank was amazing. Demon Souls. Um, Horizon Westward Bound. I mean, they brought the games, bro. I'm convinced. I'm getting a PlayStation 5. Let's see what Microsoft shows in a couple days. But <coughs> they topped it off with a hardware reveal. And I like the hardware reveal. If it was just a white console, lit. I'm still, it still looks lit. I like the controller, futuristic, dope, dope, dope. I might still lean towards a white console, even if this black one does come out. But, bro. This is coming from PushSquare.com, and check out this image. A leaked placed, um, Sony, not PlayStation, a leaked Sony marketing material shows off a um, black and red PlayStation 5. A couple things come to, to, to thought. So Push Square. Is um, stating that this is coming from Reset Era, that this is a Sony marketing pamphlet that shows off a black and red PlayStation 5 console. Uh, this just came out on Push Square yesterday, and so I wanted to report it. Brown, the first thing that comes to mind is maybe, just maybe, Spider Man Miles Morales. This is. A launch has been confirmed. The Spider-Man game is a confirmed launch title. This could be a special edition Spider-Man console. That would be pretty dope. Pretty dope. And again, with every rumor, you got to take it with a grain of salt. This isn't... Um, um, Sony hasn't flat out come out and say it. This is leaked, leaked, leaked um, being reported. But it does look dope, bro. Let me, let me take that back. I, I would get this black and red PS5. <laughs> it looks clean. It looks clean. It looks clean. And so what do you guys think about this? I thought this was dope, but that's not the only news item. We got some dope news items for this video. Y'all ready for a Nintendo Direct? Well, the Nintendo Direct rumors are heating up by a hundredfold. Bro, a Reddit post says that a Game GameStop employee has leaked pics of four new SKUs that were added today, and there is a notice of eShop maintenance going down on July 14th. And so, this is big. Two things. Eshop maintenance, meaning that something is going to be happening uh, you, sometimes. Sometimes it's just um, fixing stuff behind the scenes. But sometimes when there's maintenance, big stuff happens. So eShop maintenance and um, new SKUs have been added to GameStop's internal listings. Usually when um, new SKUs are added, 
a big Nintendo a Nintendo Direct um, happens. It's happened in the past. It could very well happen again. Brah, Nintendo fans are starving for new Nintendo content. Bro, Nintendo has not given us a Nintendo Direct in, in just about a year. And then they announce on Twitter, oh, we got, uh, stay tuned for our um, Paper Mario Origami live presentation. And we're going to be announcing a brand new game by, um, I forget the company, was it Way Forward or something. But either way, it was a dope developer. So dudes are like, uh-oh, we finally get the game, a good game. And they announce Bakugan. That's right. Nobody asked for Bakugan. <laughs> this game. And when you see it. When you saw the actual gameplay, it looked horrible, bro. Like a Nintendo 64 game, bro. In the official trailer, they don't even show a large full screen of the gameplay. When they don't show full screen of the gameplay, that means they're hiding something. That means it looks bad, bro. And so, that's what they had at coming holiday? Bakugan is going to be Nintendo's big holiday game? <laughs> nah, it's not. Nintendo is that crazy. Um, I think we're going to still get those Mario remakes announced sometime soon. We will see. All right. Next news item. I have to remind you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Ubisoft's Ubisoft Forwards presentation. This is their E3 type presentation where they announce new games. This game right here, I, I want to see more information on Gods and Monsters. This should be coming out on the PlayStation 5 as well. But um, it's going to be tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be live streaming it. Make sure you're subscribed. Make make sure your notifications are on. You need to be subscribed anyway because I have a monthly giveaway going on, bro. Subscribe and follow me on Twitter, and you're in the giveaway. <laughs> and another news item. Another news item. I thought this was pretty interesting. Venture Beat. Venture Beat is reporting that at Xbox's upcoming. Um, Xbox Series X presentation, first party presentation, there will not, I repeat, will not be any announcements on price and release date at this presentation. They're saying that that announcement will be at um, Xbox's August. They're going to have an August presentation where they're rumored, rumored to be showing off the Xbox Series S code name Lockhart and at that time they're gonna have the full price release date uh, blowout at that time interesting 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 to see what both Microsoft and Sony will announce for the price point for their hardware accessories and consoles um, that's it is gonna be important to see what the price point is I don't really care but it's still gonna be important for a lot of dudes and last but not least um, we have another box art for PlayStation 5 Godfall. Yesterday, Sony officially revealed the box art for Spider-Man Miles Morales and Godfall developers had followed suit and, uh, and revealed the box art for this game. I believe this is a free-to-play game um, for the PlayStation 5. I'm going to be on this. This might be their Destiny 2 type or not Destiny 2 Warframe um, type game. Um, looter, sh looter, not a looter shooter, but it has shooting, sword, combat. It looks pretty dope. It looks pretty dope. Um, I will be downloading this on my PS5. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, I don't even know what my bro is this video. I forgot to put one in, bro. Oh, that's from Knack from my last video. Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. 
there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later Deuces.